Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mrs. G. Today we're going to be looking at the topic of drainage patterns. So thinking of the topic drainage patterns, my first question would be, what is drainage? And then that would bring other questions into my mind. When I think of drainage, I think of water running or the word drain. For water to run, there needs to be a slope that is highland and lowland. And based on the laws of gravity, we know water would run from the highland to the lowland. In river systems though, drainage refers to how water runs off the land. This would include streams or tributaries running from different directions to join or to form at a main river, which later flows into a larger water body such as a lake or the ocean. The entire area of land where the water is running from to join the specific river would have been called the drainage basin. This can also be looked at as a catchment area. In this case, our catchment area would have been this entire area here in red. Now think about it this way. Think of a large pan or bowl that is placed outside during the rain. All areas inside the pan, that is the sides, the bottom, would make up the drainage basin. So for this specific area, this would have been our drainage basin but we have to consider the other areas as well. If we have another pan placed right beside it and another pan placed on the other side of it, those areas would have been catchment areas, but they are in other drainage basins. So in this diagram, we have one, two, and three separate drainage basins. At the top of the bowl or where we have our red line here where the water can run off into another drainage basin we would call that area our watershed in this diagram it is labeled as our divide so then this brings us here what are drainage patterns when we think about it as well patterns would be a shape so we are looking at the pattern or the shape that the river and its tributaries create when they are running off the land. The pattern is usually formed as a result of the structure of the rocks that are in that specific drainage basin. Today we will be looking at three types of drainage patterns. Those are radial, dendritic, and trellis pattern. For our first pattern, it is radial. This is a circular pattern where water is running from one main central high point here. Since it is a high point, it is almost as if water is overflowing and will therefore run out in all different directions around the peak. These create a pattern that looks like spokes on a bicycle wheel. So this one is basically circular and an example is to Frere Hills in Montserrat. This is a more realistic diagram of a radial drainage pattern where you can actually see the peak and you see the areas where the water is running off the land. Turn is the trellis drainage pattern. This is a rectangular pattern where water is taking turns at right angles. Rock type here is very influential in the trellis pattern. It occurs where there are alternate bands of hard and soft rock where soft rock is easier to erode, so tributaries will form in the soft rock and join the main river at right angles. An example of this is Bay of Fundy in Canada, and we can see here what the trellis pattern would look like. This is a more realistic view of the trellis pattern. You can see the ridges, different types of rocks, where the water goes through accordingly. Our third pattern is the dendritic drainage pattern. It is from the Greek word dendrite, which means tree. So the pattern itself actually resembles the branches of a tree and it develops into gently sloping basins with a uniform rock type. 
The tributaries flow into each other from any area because the rock type is the same throughout the entire area. One example of the dendritic drainage pattern is the Caroni River in Trinidad. This diagram shows a more realistic look of the dendritic drainage pattern. All right, so here's a summary. The drainage pattern radial, it has a circular shape. It is usually found around volcanic rocks where there is a peak. One example is Safrir Hills in Montserrat. Trellis pattern, it looks rectangular as they are forming at right angles. Rock structure, it usually has alternate bands of hard and soft rock. One example is Bay of Fundy in Canada. The final one is the dendritic drainage pattern, which has a tree shape. It has uniform rock structure. And one example is the Caroni River in Trinidad. Now it's question time. What drainage pattern does this river have? The first person to write their answer in the comment section below will get a shout out in my next video. Remember to include the name of your school and of course your name. I hope you understand the drainage patterns. Here is a poll so you can indicate what topic you would like me to cover next. Subscribe to the channel to ensure that you don't miss our other videos. Remember also to like the video, leave a comment, and share with your schoolmates. Follow us on Instagram at Natkin Educational Services. Check out our blog in the description below as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and it is always a pleasure.